Hey, this is Brooke Drum with Printerbot.com, and I just wanted to show you this new old printer. So, this is actually a new design. A couple weeks ago, I sent out some kits for free to some kids and teachers, and uh, they just got parts, these metal parts. Now, these are actually retired parts, parts that we don't sell anymore, um, or we don't use on a production bot. So, I have all these extra parts laying around, and I realized, well, if I design some kits around these parts that I can't really use in production, maybe I could sell a few of them so I can sell them at a low cost and put together some little packs. So this is what we're doing. So we're gonna put this product in the store very soon and I'll post these files today. I started with uh, laser cut wood, like that's why it's old school. And we're just loosely calling this the Frankenbot because it has like old 2.1 plus parts here, uh, all 12 millimeter rods, this is all going to change because, like I said, it's Frankenbot. Um, back tucked in here, there's a uh, early version of the new Metal Plus part that didn't have wire relief, and so we just scrapped them. But I used it in this bot. So anyway, Mark helped me put this together, and now it's printing. Um, it's not printing as good as our other printers, let's be honest. Uh, it's a Frankenbot made of wood. But it is printing, and we're looking at around $200 for the kit. So. This is uh, some plans that if you have access to a laser cutter, you can use these plans. I just wanted to make sure that this kit was useful for um, actually making a printer, and we've done it. So we're not gonna give you the wood, we're just giving you the parts. It's really intended to be a bare bones kit um, that you design your own thing. You can use my design if you want, you can change it. Um, we'll open source all this, but it's nothing really special. It's like a stripped down plus with a couple of little tweaks. If you can get in here, Dave, just a little bit, so I intentionally put um, this motor right here instead of hiding it underneath because I want kids to see, you know, the X axis or the Y axis is right here invisible and you can see how it works. Um, the, let's see, the, the X axis is here. Of course, the Z is right here. Everything's visible. Even the end stops where normally I would hide these behind so you can't see them. Um, I wanted you to see this end stop so you can see all the end stops. So. I just thought it's a cool little project. It only took a couple days, and it'll honestly it'll help me unload some parts that I can't use, and it'll get some people started that maybe have a price point that's lower than our Play. If you're looking for the greatest first printer, go with the Play. It's like completely legit bot, and it prints awesome. But if you're looking for something to play with and don't mind refurbished parts, used parts, or uh, some stuff laying in my scrap bin I'm not using anymore, then this is your kit. It's not really meant to be one of the products in our line. It's meant to be something for fun. It'll be in uh, Printerbot Labs. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this. It's printing, uh, it can be modded. I hope some kids have fun with this.